think about globalization, you think about uh, economic issues, and you don't really think so much about uh, social issues or human rights issues. And yet, when you think about how human rights came to develop historically in the past uh, 200 years, modern human rights, it's very much a process of internationalization, a process of globalization. There are three main lessons that we can draw from this book and, and once again these lessons are at the same time quite obvious and rather paradoxical. First lesson, civil and, and political rights on the one hand and social and economic rights on the other hand are equally important. That's a basic fact. One doesn't go without the other. Second basic fact, although we are talking increasingly of the globalization of human rights, the fact remains that the national level, when it comes to the conceptualization and even more so the implementation of human rights, the national level is critical. And the third uh, basic lesson that, that we can draw from this book, it has to do with the need to somehow go beyond a sense of moral obligation when it comes to having human rights respected and implemented at the international level and enforced by the international community, we have to reach a better sense of legal obligation. Human rights are a key element somehow to socialize, to humanize, to, to tame the pathologies of globalization. <laughs>